In this lesson, we're going to look at what happens when we add an acid to a metal carbonate. First of all, let's just complete the general equation for the reaction. So we can see that any acid, when added to any metal carbonate, will always produce a salt, water, and a gas called carbon dioxide. So, for example here, let's suppose that in this beaker we have a dilute solution of hydrochloric acid. And to that solution we'll add some chalk. Powdered chalk. And the chemical name for powdered chalk is calcium carbonate. So chalk is an example of a metal carbonate. So when we add that to the acid, we will notice that after a while, the flame goes out. Now this happens because the flame needs oxygen to burn and it gets its oxygen from the air in the jar. But as the reaction starts to take place, we notice that carbon dioxide is produced. Now carbon dioxide is quite a heavy gas. It's got a higher density than air and as it starts to fill the jar it will push the oxygen away from the flame and the flame will go out. Now you can see this in the watch and learn section in simple chemical reactions when we look at carbon dioxide fire extinguishers. So the calcium carbonate reacts with the hydrochloric acid producing carbon dioxide which extinguishes the flame also producing water and a salt. Let's write out the specific equation for this reaction. Hydrochloric acid plus calcium carbonate. The salt will be made from the calcium from the metal in the metal carbonate and the chlorine in the hydrochloric acid. So we will so the calcium will combine with the chlorine in the hydrochloric acid to form calcium chloride plus water plus carbon dioxide. Now where else might we find this reaction in chemistry? Well for example when we're talking about chemical erosion okay we remember that rainwater absorbs carbon dioxide gas in the atmosphere okay so we can write water plus carbon dioxide produces an acid called carbonic acid H2CO3. That's called carbonic acid which is a weak acid and that weak acid will slowly erode the limestone of limestone buildings particularly old churches. So you can see these poor gargoyles here have lost their faces because this carbonic acid has slowly dissolved the, the rock and the rock is limestone which is made from the mineral calcium carbonate and as we said before acids will dissolve limestone because limestone is made from calcium carbonate. Now you'll find probably in your kettle, particularly if you live in areas where there's a lot of limestone rock around, that the water from your tap contains metal carbonates and after a while these carbonates will start to be deposited on the heating element at the bottom of your kettle. We call this lime scale. Once again lime scale, just like limestone, is made from our old friend calcium carbonate. So. How are you going to get rid of this calcium carbonate, this lime scale from the bottom of your kettle? Well, you know the answer now. It's easy. You add to the metal carbonate an acid, and as a result, you get a salt plus water plus carbon dioxide. Now, so in this case, you're not going to add hydrochloric acid because that would be dangerous, but you can add, for example, vinegar to the kettle and leave it overnight. And the vinegar, being an acid, will attack the calcium carbonate lime scale. It will dissolve it and in the morning your kettle will be clean.